So ACR thought it would be a great idea to bring me in to create this story to illustrate what the future could look like in 2030 in, in healthcare. It's important to have art anywhere, anytime, because it helps people engage. And what we're doing is asking participants, attendees of this conference, to give me their ideas of what they'd like to see in 2030, or what they just think will happen. But mostly we want this vision map. We want to say this is what's possible. So to be able to draw that out is going to be it's going to make it a lot easier for them to then share that vision later with their colleagues. Um, when you see something visual, you remember it, you retain it better. You um, people want to go up and they want to participate. They want to add to it. So what I'm doing is I'm building out this story with attendees. I'm a rheumatologist. My name is John Goldman. I'm in solo practice uh, in Sandy Springs, Georgia. There's a projection that we're going to be short 4,000 rheumatologists in the future, and they want to fill this in with people who are not physicians, which I'm very much against. Instead, let's make it attractive for physicians to go into rheumatology. Your problem is you've got bureaucratic overregulation, you've got electronic health records that don't work, and I can tell you I'm aggravated with what's happening. Arvind Chopra, I set up the center where we are five rheumatologists, and we see something like maybe about 80 to 90 patients every day. It would be easier to spot a rheumatologist in, in, uh, in US and Europe, but in India from where I come from, we have just about 500 rheumatologists in, in 1.2 billion population. By 2030, the need for human touch would be the same. At least in rheumatology, that's a requirement in many situations that you need a multidisciplinary approach. It's not only specialists, but you need uh, dietitians, you need physiotherapists, rehab people. You do need a workforce of that type, but right at the center of the workforce are only two people, the patient and the doctor. <laughs>